Step one, unbox your new print drum. Print drums or print cylinders are either black drums or colored drums. Make sure your intended ink aligns to the type of drum you are installing. Step two, each drum comes with a new drum cassette. Open the cassette, remove the drum. Lift it using the blue handles only and then remove the two pieces of styrofoam that are attached to the drum. You may need help from a friend to remove the second piece. It is in an awkward location. Step three, place the new print drum on the floor or a flat surface. Open the new ink cartridge and insert it into your drum. There is a guide that makes it easy to align the cartridge as it is inserted. Once it is all the way in, turn the cartridge slightly to the right to lock it in place. Step four, prepare your Riso printer to receive the new ink drum. Remove any existing print cylinders from your machine and then start your press in test mode. Test mode is launched on our MF9450 by holding down the right and left position keys on color drum one while the machine is turned on. Step five, insert your new print cylinder into your press. An error will appear on the user interface. Press the reset button. You may need to press it multiple times until the user interface clears the errors and returns to the test mode startup screen. Step six, you will need to enter test item codes to tell your printer you are installing a new color drum and you would like to ink it up. The following codes are for our MF9450 Riso printer. Check the installation procedure guide that comes with your ink drums for the codes needed for your machine. For our machine, we enter code 117 on the keypad and press start. We also need to make sure the correct color drum is selected, either color drum 1 or color drum 2, and then press start again. When the first code is finished, we need to enter a second code. Press the C button on the keypad to go back to the test mode user interface. Enter code 890, press start, make sure the correct color drum is selected, and then press start again. After the second code is finished processing, turn the printer off. Step seven, restart the printer in test mode again. The final test item code will ink up the drum. On our machine, we enter code 887 and press start. Check to make sure the correct color drum is selected and then press start again. This function takes much longer than the previous two because it is inking up the drum. When the code is finished processing, turn your printer off and then back on to exit out of test mode. Step eight. It is important to immediately print something from the new color drum. You should print 200 pages at print speed three. Step nine, do not forget to add the color label and drum labels that come with your new drum. It makes it easy to see what color ink each drum is filled with as you're selecting it from a variety of cassettes that you may have in your facility. Thank you.